brachycephaly is the shape of a skull shorter than typical for its species. It is a normal variation in some domesticated dog and cat breeds, and can be normal or abnormal in other animal species. In humans, the cephalic disorder is known as flat head syndrome, and results from premature fusion of the coronal sutures or from external deformation. The coronal suture is the fibrous joint that unites the frontal bone with the two parietal bones of the skull. The parietal bones form the top and sides of the skull. This feature can be seen in Down syndrome. In anthropology, human populations have been characterized as either dolichocephalic, mesotocephalic, or brachycephalic. The usefulness of the cephalic index was questioned by Giuseppe Sergi, who argued that cranial morphology provided a better means to model racial ancestry. The incidence of brachycephaly in people has increased dramatically since the advent of sudden infant death syndrome recommendations for parents to keep their babies on their backs. It is considered a cosmetic problem. Many pediatricians remain unaware of the issue and possible treatments. Treatments include regular prone repositioning of babies. There are also cases of brachycephaly associated with plagiocephaly. This deformity occurs when there is a combination of brachycephaly and plagiocephaly present. Brachycephaly with plagiocephaly is positional and has become more prevalent since the Back to Sleep campaign. The Back to Sleep campaign began in 1994 as a way to educate parents, caregivers, and healthcare providers about ways to reduce the risk for sudden infant death syndrome. The campaign was named for its recommendation to place healthy babies on their backs to sleep. Placing babies on their backs to sleep reduces the risk for SIDS, also known as crib death. This campaign has been successful in promoting infant back sleeping and other risk reduction strategies to parents, family members, childcare providers, health professionals, and all other caregivers of infants at a cost of increasing the incidence of this deformation of the head. Brachycephaly also describes a developmentally normal type of skull with a high cephalic index, such as in snub-nosed breeds of dogs such pugs and bulldogs or cats such as the Persian, exotic and Himalayan. Treatment Brachycephaly can be corrected with a cranial remolding all those which provide painless total contact over the prominent areas of the skull and leave voids over the flattened areas to provide a pathway for more symmetrical skull growth. Treatment generally takes 3 euro 4 months, but varies depending on the infant's age and severity of the cranial asymmetry. However studies by scientists in the Netherlands have found there was no significant difference over time between infants treated with helmets and infants left untreated. All parents of infants treated with helmets confirmed negative side effects including skin irritation and sweating. This study focused only on patients with mild to moderate cases, the participation rate was only 21%, and there was a 73% reporting of fitting issues, calling into question the validity of the study. Incorrectly fit devices cannot be expected to yield results. Additionally, independent published research that examined the effectiveness of helmet therapy concludes that as many as 95% of patients demonstrate an improvement in head shape symmetry following helmet therapy, and the American Orthotics and Prosthetics Association has serious concerns about the relevance and validity of this study. See also, craniosynostosis, plagiocephaly, cephalic index, safe to sleep, artificial cranial deformation. External links, 1,295,319,074 at Knotebook, NINDS Overview. References